lads and ladies and welcome to this now today we return now today i am bringing you my sky bet league two table predictions now i've already done my premier league and league one so if you want to go and check them out uh feel free to do so uh links will be in the description to them if you are new please subscribe and thank you for 3700 subscribers now as you'll see in this video the season starts tomorrow Every club in the EFL gets underway this weekend. And I'm bringing you my League 2 predictions now. By the way, these are not going to happen. I'll probably get about three right. So, bet on the opposite of what I'm about to predict. So, I'm sorry for relegating. I'm sorry if you're not in the playoffs. Unfortunately, 24 teams can't win the league. Now, 24th, Macclesfield. Now, Macclesfield, unfortunately, I can't see him staying up. They did well last year, so Campbell's a good manager. But for me, second season syndrome will kick in with them and they'll get relegated back to the National League. 23rd, Cheltenham. Their key player, Luke Varney. Um, I just can't see him being strong enough to stay up um, with the team just above them in Crawley, Morecambe, Cambridge, Port Vale, etc. I think it'll be their year to go down. 22nd, Morecambe. Morecambe, obviously, still up every year. They've lost a couple of good players. Collins, uh, obviously, Zach Mills is a big loss, gone to Oldham. Um, for me, that'll be a big loss. They've still got some good players. Sam Lavelle, uh, Kevin Ellison, Mark Helstead. Very good players in this league. 21st Crawley, 20th Cambridge. Now, for me, those sides will finish there. Just a bit stronger than the others to go, uh, the other three teams. Um, not quite strong enough to surge uh, like a 12th or a 13th place finish, but they'll stay up. We've got enough players in the squad to stay up, and I'm sorry, Mulo. Um, I don't think Cambridge will get anywhere near um, top 10 this year for me um, in 19 Port Vale now Port Vale have impressed me this window they signed good, good players like Mark Cullen David Amu um, obviously he's already got a few good players like the Tom Pope as well they score goals a good front line and I think for me that they'll easily stay up and avoid relegation 18th Crew Alexander now they've lost a few good players Bowery um, obviously, let Alexander go on loan to Morecambe. They have brought in Powell from Northampton, which is a good signing for them. And like I say, they'll easily stay up for me, a good League Two club. 17th, Grimsby. Obviously, have a tough start in Bradford at home. Um, they brought James Hanson, obviously ex-Bradford. He's a tall striker. He's played the likes of Bradford, Wimbledon. He's been everywhere, really, for me, being honest with you. He's a junior man, but he's got experience. And for me, that'll keep Grimsby up. 16th, Stevenage. Now, they, they had a mad day yesterday. They bought in Paul Taylor, which is a good signing. He played for the likes of Doncaster, I think, Bradford as well. And he works hard as well. And a lot of fans love him. 15th, Leighton Orient. Now, Orient will finish there. They have lost a few good players. Macaulay Barn, which is a massive, massive loss. Um, but I think they'll fight for every point and do it for Justin Edinburgh, who sadly passed away. So, I'm really, it was really such a shame. And my thoughts and prayers are with his family. Orient, good fans. They deserve to be back in the big time and hopefully in a couple of years they can be back in League One, maybe even the Championship one day, uh, up the celly. Uh, go and follow him on Instagram. What a legend he is, by the way. 14th, Oldham. Obviously, they signed David Wheatley, which is a good signing. Uh, Gary Woods. Um, but for me, I can't see him surging for a playoff push. Their own is a bit too much involved in the team. And... Um, they are a good side, good fans, but I just can't see them anywhere near playoffs this year. Lost to um, Halifax, I think, or, um, at home the other day. Um, obviously, their old um, assistant manager, White, uh, Pete Wilde, um, obviously, were managing them and won 1 0. 13th. Newport obviously got to the playoff final last year. Lost a few good players, Butler being one, obviously gone to Peterborough. But I think they'll still finish strongly. Still got a good striker in Jamil Matt. Uh, scores a lot of goals in League Two. And for me, they'll be fine. I can't see him surging for the playoffs so. though. 12th, Carlisle. Now, Stephen Prez is their manager. He gets teams fit. Um, he plays high pressing football. A lot of the players are on loan, so I'm not quite sure if that'll work out. Um, and his style of football can be sometimes a bit boring to watch. I can't see him getting the playoffs. They've got a good player in Stefan Skugel. Um, obviously, they've lost Devitt as well, which was a lot of goals there. But for me, I can't see him. Uh, getting the playoffs this year. 11th, Forest Green Rovers. Obviously, the vegan club, a well-talked-about club. Um, 
I got to the playoff semi-final where they lost 2-1 uh, uh, on Ag Agarit to Tramia. Uh, Tramia went on to go and win the playoffs. Um, not a good season, not as good as last year, but Forest Green in the playoffs and, um, uh, won't get the playoffs for me. 11 for them will be a good return. 10th, Colchester. Now, a club that I always want to go up. They signed Dean Gherkin from local rivals Ipswich. They have lost Modix. Um, uh, Frankie Kent, which is two big losses, probably one of the two better players in the league. Kent going to Peterborough, Smonix going to Bristol City. Um, for me, they'll just miss out on playoffs again, but like I say, they're a good side and they could push into them if they do have a good start. Um, ninth, Exeter, obviously lost Christy Pym, the goalkeeper, who was crucial. They, they, they're a bit like the Tottenham of league. Two. They're always up there, but they never do anything. Obviously, got to the playoff final two years in a row, lost to Blackpool and Coventry, and then missed out on the last day in the playoffs last year. So, for me, I think there'll still be a bit of heartache there, but they just need to get over it and get in them playoffs. Eighth, Swindon. Now, I've been very impressed by their transfer business so far. It's been smart. They've got better players from better leagues, some, a, couple, a long signing from Arsenal, which is very good. Um, they've got goal scorers now. And like I say, um, they got relegated a couple of years ago from League One. But for me, they'll easily, easily be top ten. Now, seventh, and in my playoffs, Warsaw. They've got a good manager, the manager who used to manage Bristol Rovers. Obviously, got back-to-back -back with them. He's brought a lot of them players back to Warsaw. They have let go of Morgan Ferrier, which I didn't rate him, for, rate him if I'm being honest. Um, but like I say, they have brought better players in and I think they could have a good season and sneak into those playoffs. Sixth, Northampton. They've got a good manager, play 3-5-2. Keith Curl knows what he's doing. He's had his time now, he's brought his own players in and with playing 3-5-2, you need your own players. So he's got them now um, and for me, they'll have a good season. Fifth, Salford, obviously, the well talked about club in League Two. Uh, obviously, uh, five promotions in five years, something like that, which is mad. Um, obviously, they brought uh, Richie Towler, which is an incredible signing. Um, they're interested in David. They were interested in David Ball, who did go to Australia in the end. Um, obviously, they've not done yet. Uh, obviously, they've got some good players, Pondy, Chris Neal. Oh, just their team's brilliant. And like I say, they've got a good manager who knows what he's doing in Graham Alexander. Fourth, Scunthorpe. Now, should never really have been relegated. Went on a really bad run. But for me, they'll get in the playoffs and hopefully have a go at him. Like I say, um, those playoffs, Scunthorpe will play Walsall and Solver will play Northampton. Obviously, three well known League One clubs in there just a couple of years ago, uh, all fighting for a place in the League One. Now, my. My top three. Third, I'm going to go for Mansfield. Now, they always sign good players. They have brought in, I think, Nicky Maynard, which is a brilliant signing. They always spend a lot of money. Um, I think they're interested in Tyler Walker as well, uh, which is a good signing, but um, he may be off to uh, Lincoln or Coventry. Second, Bradford City, probably one of the biggest clubs in that league. Clayton Donaldson, James Vaughan up front. What a partnership. They have brought in Matty Palmer. Um, like, it's brilliant. Like, what a club. Um, big fan base. Over 15,000 fans will be in there every every game next year. But first, Plymouth Argyle. The, every play they brought is near enough been from Berry. They have lost Graham Carey, but they brought a lot of good players in. A lot, just the players they brought in. He's been incredible. Got a good manager, and they'll, I think they'll possibly score 100 goals next year and um, good club you support let me know and i'll see you in the next video please remember to like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace out